Welcome to LAVO's VSM video training series on panel building. In this video, we're going to look at how to add additional signal paths, how to use iterators, understanding signal path families, and other features related to adding signals to configurations. Let's add more signal paths into our existing configuration to make it more resemble a real-world facility with lots of signal paths. We open up the primary virtual matrix of our master view by clicking up here in the toolbar under Master View. As you see here, the amount of sources and targets don't really accurately reflect a real live facility. First, let's go into the signal paths by clicking on the signal path icon in the toolbar. You can create a new signal path by either right-clicking in the signal path list and selecting new signal path, or alternatively, you can go into the edit window and select one at a time create signal path this way. This is a great chance for us to talk about iterators because iterators are very useful to both save time and improve accuracy when entering a great number of signals into the signal path list. Notice when you hover your mouse over the description window, a pop-up shows up indicating all the various types of things that you can enter in this window. That's very handy and you'll see VSM does that fairly regularly in different windows. So in this case, let's create three servers, each of which have four inputs. We'll use what we call iterators, otherwise known as curly braces, to tell VSM to create a sequence of signal paths within the span of numbers that we enter within the braces. We enter server, and then a left brace, 1-3, 1 through 3, and then right curly brace, and then the word input, and then another left curly brace, 1 through 4, and again a right curly brace, like this. What's really cool here is that we're creating 12 signal paths by just typing a few characters. These are inputs to the server, so that's why we're using the word input, of course. Now let's talk about signal path families. As you see when we click the drop-down, there's a few signal path families already in existence, but nothing related to servers. So it's probably a good time to add a new signal path family called server. To add a new one, we click Modify. And then click on New Family and type in the name. We use both a long and short designation, as you'll see why. The short name is limited to four characters. How you name the short name is entirely up to you, but it should be somewhat indicative of the long name. We can also assign a color to the signal path family. As you see here in the primary virtual matrix, video monitors, the signal path family name of video monitor, has been assigned green. Frame sinks are kind of the dark blue or dark green, and then camera is yellow. Use a color that makes sense for the configuration you're building. You'll find it helps you keep track of these signals more logically when you have thousands and thousands of signals in the matrix view. For the servers, let's make that blue and change the text from black to white. Now we've created the family, but we still have to select it. So let's select it here. When we select the drop-down, you'll see that these new signals we've created are assigned to the signal path family known as servers. Let's click Next. Now let's keep in mind we've just created inputs into the servers. That means that they're router outputs. It's important to be sure which column you're working on here. As we click on our input section, we need to find a group of 12. Let's start by assigning these 12 new signals at 31. It's nice that this is linear, 31 through 42, but do note that sometimes when you're working on facilities that have been designed for redundancy, the numbers are going to be a lot more scattered and may not be in a logical order. If that's the case, the iterators won't be able to help you because you won't be able to find a sequential series of numbers in a row. Now at this point, let's click through all the rest of the windows because they're not pertinent to what we're working on here. We'll talk about these other windows in more advanced training later. Now we've just created 12 new signal paths. As we scroll down our signal path list, we'll find server 1, input 1, located here, and notice that there's nothing assigned into the virtual matrix. If they were assigned, they would actually be T's, which would mean that they're targets. So let's drag these targets into our primary virtual matrix. Notice that first when we hover over the target section of the primary virtual matrix, we're not able to drop them into the matrix. That's because the matrix is locked. While holding down our mouse, we drag all these new signals onto the master view, hovering over the layout tab. That allows us to add them into the primary virtual matrix. Then we drag our mouse back over to the target section in the primary virtual matrix where we want these signals to start being placed. We release 
and now we've populated the targets with these new servers. And notice back into the signal path list, now there are actual target numbers assigned to these signal paths. While we're in the signal path list, let's look at a couple of neat little shortcuts. Let's say that we want to navigate down to a word that starts with the letters SE, but we're nowhere near that in our alphabetical list. On your keyboard, just quickly type the letters SE, and it jumps right down to, in this case, server. It's a very quick way of jumping up and down through the alphabetical list. If we type FR very quick, the window scrolls up to the beginning of frame sync. If we know something specific we're looking for, we can also press Control F, which brings up a window where we can type in the character string of exactly what we're looking for. Besides using Control F, F3 on your keyboard will also do the same thing. Here we type server, and notice VSM jumps down to SER, server 1, input 1. You can also do this kind of searching on the master matrix. F3 brings up the find window in the master matrix, however, Control F does not. If the signal you're looking for has different layers of labels, then you can select the drop-down box, and it will give you the options that you can search for. If you're not sure what you want, just select All, and it will look for all instances. Here we type in SER, and immediately it navigates to the server section of the targets.